Funny thing though, when we talk about masturbation, we always think we what's the what's your first thought? People tend to think man. Well, the males do. The ladies, the ladies know better. How can a single Christian overcome masturbation? Simple. It's easy. Just don't do it. Solve your problem. That was easy. Next question. No, I'm, I'm kidding. How you overcome it. Those thoughts aren't just there because you woke up, bam, they're right there. I, I got these thoughts in my head. My mind's playing tricks on me and I'm seeing, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at everything. I'm a guy and everything I look, I look at reminds me of some part of a woman's body. I got issues. I got all, I got issues. I got all sorts of issues. I need some help. Josh said a cold shower, but doggone it. After that cold shower wears off, you dried out. You're thinking about it again. You ain't got enough cold water in the world to stop you. You don't have enough cold water in the world to stop it because, because what happens um, when you leave the house and wow, did you see her? Whoo! You do a double take. Matter of fact, you you get your phone out. You let me put let me yeah, so I can I can remember that thought. I want to lock that thought in. What do you do? The reason why these things are there is because they got there because you looked at something, you heard something, you were talking about someone about the same thing. That's why. That's why. So we can just do a simple science test. Today, when you get through, go put some milk in a cup. I recommend you get you uh, a prison issued cup. Wonderful. Sturdy. I've had this thing for since 2007. Has never failed me. Take you a prison cup or any cup. Doesn't really matter. Pour some good old. Fa no, I was going to say put some cow milk on there. But no, don't waste the cow milk. Get you some oat milk or some soy milk or some tree milk or some grass milk. Whatever that little trans milk that you guys drink. Put that in there. Put the milk in there. What I want you to do then. Well, I don't have any milk. Well, doggone it, go get you some milk. <laughs> it ain't that difficult. Get you a pint of milk. Put it in there. Then stop there and ask yourself a question. How did the milk get inside the cup? What's the answer, guys? How does the milk get in the cup, in my cup? I put it there. I put the milk in my cup. Doesn't matter why. Doesn't matter how long, it doesn't even matter how long the milk has been in the cup. I don't care if the milk's been in the cup for a, a, a minute, an hour, a day, a month. Doesn't matter. I don't care. You put that milk in there, it's going to stay in there. Now, it's going to change its form. The longer that milk is in there, the form is going to change. It's going to harden. Next thing you know, it's becoming part of the milk. I mean, part of the cup. But how did the milk get in there? I put it in there. How am I going to get the milk out? That's the question. Those are the intrusive thoughts. How am I going to get them out? So now, get you a good old-fashioned Colts cup. Make sure it's a Colts cup now. I can promise you, if it's a Cowboys cup, it's going to leak. I, that part I can assure you as well. Get you a Colts cup. You can really get any other team. Any other team's cup will work. Cowboys cup, I can promise you it ain't going to work. Take the water. Pour it into the cup. And just keep pouring. If you run out of water, fill it up and pour it some more. Guys, what is going to happen to the cup with milk in it? As you keep pouring water in there, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Pretty soon, the, cu the cup full of milk will go away. And now you'll have a cup with water. Now, you'll notice there's still going to be a little bit of milk residue in there. I don't want that in there, though. I don't want that milk residue in there. So what am I going to do? Keep pouring water in there. Keep pouring water in there and keep pouring water in there. Matter of fact, now my cup is just clear water. But what happens with that cup after a while? Set that cup to the side with water. Come back the next day. Would you want to drink that water? Probably not. It's probably got some contaminants in it. So what am I going to do? Pour some more water in there and pour some more water in there and pour some more water in there and keep you know what it's tuesday i've been pouring water in there now it's friday what am i going to do keep pouring water in there keep pour, next week what, I, what what will i be doing to this cup next week 
pouring water in there. What about next month? Pouring water in there. That's what you're going to do. That's how you get rid of these intrusive thoughts. So what is the water? The word of God. Keep putting it in. Keep taking it in. It should be difficult for you to hear the word of God, to think on the word of God, and then to go masturbate. It, it should be difficult. It should be extreme. Now, it might not be. Why is it? Why is that? Well, you got too much milk in there. You got too much almond milk, soy milk, tree milk, bear milk, cactus milk, spider milk, whatever. But you want to pour some water, living water in there. Just keep pouring in there. And then the more, the more you pour in there, the more you put the word of God in you, it'd be that much harder for you to even think those things. They'll still come, they'll still keep coming back. But you gotta be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. The milk got in there in the first place because you put them there. How do I do that? I kept watching some stuff. Stop going to certain places, stop watching certain things. Someone actually did give a a, a tip to uh, get rid of that stuff. Every single way that you can tell them to not do it, do it. Block that stuff. I'm not interested in that stuff. So now I look at workout stuff. You look at workout stuff and it doesn't take but two or three more reels after that to show women working out. And then you're looking at the women working out and the men working out for me and my wife. Next thing you know, they got women with, with you know, doing all kind of ridiculous. Okay. Now I can't do that. But the it got in that cup because you keep putting it in there. Even, even if it was harmless intent, I was just going to look at that. Well, you know what? I saw that exchange, that thought, that idea that, that that's in your mind with something godly. Pour some more water in. Be just as intentional as you were either unintentional or intentional about putting the milk in. Be just as intentional about putting the water in, by putting the word of God in. That's how you deal with those thoughts. It is possible to not succumb to those things. It is. It is. But it may take some work. Amen.